performing a group by using more than one column is actually much easier than you think. So this is going to be a nice quick video. Here we go. We've got some test data, a list of sales entries and each sale entry has a country, a product name and then a quantity of sale. So let's see how we do it. First of all, by grouping on a single property. Here we have sales. We're going to group by and then we're going to select just the country field. And then we're going to create a select statement with a new anonymous object. And because it's a group of by, we're going to take the key. The key will be the country. And then we're going to sum up. We're going to get the total of the quantities for all the items in the group. Pretty simple. For reference, let's look at it in the query syntax. You can see here we get an S from sales. This time we do group of the sales into G and then we're just going to create again. It's the same thing. It's just an anonymous object and we're going to group by the key and the sum. So that's how you do it normally with a single parameter. And I'm sure you're familiar with this. Now, the trick is how to do it with two parameters. And really, the trick is here. When we do our sales group by, instead of selecting a single property, you have to create an anonymous object. That's the trick. Create an anonymous object with as many parameters or as many variables in it as you need. In our case, we're just going to have two, the country, followed by the product. In that case, it's going to group by entries that match both of those. Now, the select clause is a little bit different to previously. We're going to show the country, which comes from the key. Now, the key is the anonymous object. Therefore, the key has, its, has itself two properties, the country and the product. We're going to add those to the output. And again, we're going to sum up the quantity for the entries in that group. Pretty straightforward. Just for reference, we'll do the same thing in query syntax. Again, we create the anonymous object here in the group by, and then we access them inside the select. Simple stuff. Let's add a couple of right line statements that we can see the output from the first and the second queries. And let's run it. There we go. When we did a group by with one parameter, it gave us just the country and the quantities of 14 each, which I know are correct. And then when we did the group by on two properties, country and product, sure enough, we've got the output of seven. I deliberately organized my data to be 7777, seven, 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 which means I can check easily that I have the correct output. That's it. The trick is to use a new anonymous object and put in as many as you like, one, two, ten, if you need to. Hopefully that was helpful. If it was, hit the like button. And until next time, happy coding.